South Bronx Culture Trail Festival is an annual event celebrating our rich and diverse history through community arts, culture, and education. Brought to you by Casita Maria Center for Arts and Education, uh, the first and oldest Latino charity in New York City. And through the generous support of Councilmember Rafael Salamanca Jr. In June 2020, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we found unity in our homes virtually while under quarantine. In years past, we celebrated our Bronx pride as a community in parks, plazas, courtyards, on the boulevard, and on the street in front of Casita Maria. During these unprecedented times, it was very important for Casita Maria to continue this tradition employing local artists and small businesses. So this year, we pivoted from live in-person events, collaborating with our partners to create pre-recorded videos paired with real-time elements and to present live events using tools like Live Lab and platforms such as Zoom, Facebook, Live, and HowlRound. And all of a sudden, we found ourselves reinventing who we were. And all of us have had to become different things. And all of us have had to grow. We've had to learn to march, to speak, to live stream, to engineer, to perform, to take on new and different ways of looking at life. We did this because we believe that art and creativity is essential both to heal and to ignite change, especially during challenging times. And I want to also celebrate the fact that art is really essential, especially now. But this is the most crucial moment for artists and for arts to continue to provide the essence of why we are as human beings, questioning who we are. And right now, it is the moment where our artists need support the most. All of us artists use this time right now to really absorb what's going on and provide our society what we do best the tools to reflect on how we can become better human beings and how we can move forward. Thank you to organizations like Casita Maria and Pregones, Puerto Rican Traveling Theater to, for walking the walk, integrating themselves into a community, accessing what the community needs and, and giving that with all of their hearts. We also worked with artists who brought messages of hope through their body of work. But I propose talking from the heart and listening with the heart. So that way the heart becomes mouth and ear. We have to live. And I think that when we understand a little bit more about what's inside of us and how, what really is the, the source of living, what keeps our body healthy, this is part of it. You cannot just say be safe and leave our art out of the narrative. This new narrative helps us stay connected to the community. I say this started uh, because I wanted to learn more about my home borough through my community through my friends, my family, and folks that I've lived next to forever, but I've never met before. But we're celebrating the Bronx today. This is reinventing, this is recreating, this is becoming, and becoming is better than just being. And we make sure to continue the celebration every year, especially for the children, so they know their history and can speak from an authentic place. Thanks to places like Casita Maria, you know, where kids can come and get together and they can get off the streets. And, you know, Lorraine and I grew up in a place very similar to this, um, where you did your homework, where you learned the arts, where you learned music. Um, I think we're developing and we're teaching our children to have a voice. Here in the South Bronx, thousands of cultures come together to weave a tapestry of artistic styles that are like nothing else in this world. Through times of civil unrest, arts and culture have been central in raising awareness while simultaneously offering healing spaces and community connection. As we remain focused on the call to end systemic racism and end violence towards black and brown people in this country, Casita Maria is proud to hold the South Bronx Culture Trail Festival as a celebration of art, dance, and music that brings us joy and highlights the resilience, pride, and unity that is ever present in our community.